You know who else doesn't agree with the direction America's going right now that people would be surprised with? A guy named Barack Obama is not happy with the direction things are going right now. He himself was like, listen, man, you know, kind of temper it down a little bit even, with the socialism Even two stuff. names the other day, Sean Penn, very leftist type of guy. Uh, and Semi-socialist. Conan, yes. Yeah. Fan of Hugo Chavez, from yeah, what I recall. Yeah, yeah. And Conan O'Brien, you know. More of a common sense jokester, but definitely Conan to the left. A, I think Conan's a center guy. Yeah, yes. well, yeah. Conan's but a they smart, both but yeah. they, they both called out the woke cancel culture out there. Look, we talk about us all the time. Not to get too political yeah. here. Sometimes you need people on your team to basically say, "Look, I don't like what you're doing," rather than people on the other side calling you out. Absolutely, and that's what's happening in the Democratic yeah. Party right but now. But here's what I would tell you: This is the other part. This is the other part. This is the other part that people are going to have to argue. And it's going to favor one guy. I hate to say this, but it's going to favor one guy. So just a few months ago when Trump gave the speech at CPAC and there were, you know, voter approval, people wanting him to run, et cetera, et cetera, he was at 50%, okay? Mm-hmm. Just this last week when he ran, I think he was like, he spoke to them, I think he was 76%. Yeah. And second place was DeSantis, DeSantis, 21%, right? So he went from 50 to 70 and DeSantis, 21 which they're talking about him and DeSantis, uh, president, VP type of thing to go out there and do it. Now, we'll see if that's going to take place or not. Here's what I will tell you. So take Trump's name out. Let's take Trump's name out, okay? And you go look at his policies. And you look mm-hmm. at what his policies did. How many people on the left, center, and right are starting to realize, yes, he may have been a divisive guy. Yes, he mm-hmm. may have been a guy that was pinning everybody. You know, he was doing what he was doing, battling against the mainstream media, all this stuff that he was doing. But his policies made a lot of sense. He called out TikTok. Everybody disagreed. Now, Ashton Kutcher is saying that? He, he, he was handling the border very well. Now we have issues at the border. They don't even want to touch it. We, we were doing okay with getting the vaccine to be ex- expedited in nine months on how quickly he got a vaccine. Fauci said it will take 18 months at the earliest to get it out. Mm-hmm. His sanctions against Cuba that he put on nine months ago, saying if Cuba doesn't get it together, the entire world is going to be free. We have to make sure the entire world is free, and we have to let go of those political prisoners that Cuba has. What do you think the poli- uh, Cuban people right now are protesting? Here's the point. I think there's a part of the current election, the, the process that we have, that I don't agree with, and I don't know what it is. Here's, here's one of the things. We, we vote more for personality than policies today. Mm-hmm. If we took out the personality, mainstream media couldn't do what they do. Let me explain. If all we said is we have three things we're campaigning on. This is A, this is B, this is C. Take away personalities. It's purely policies that we're campaigning on, right? Who do you bash? Sure. What do you bash? Who cares? The policies don't yeah. grab anybody by you know what. Policies don't go out there and do what sniffing somebody's uh, uh, hair with uh, what Biden does, right? If you just put it on policies, how do you trash the policies? Right. You can't say a person you can't pin them to. Mm-hmm. You just have to say that policy just kind of makes sense. I agree with that policy. So there's no more the rage emotionally against the personality you dislike because mm-hmm. the media keeps talking about this guy's a bad guy, this guy's a bad guy, this guy's a bad guy. So I kind of like the fact that common sense is starting to win. A little yeah. bit. Because long-term bad ideas get exposed yeah. and long-term great ideas win. That's what's happening Here, Here's the problem, though. Uh, it's one thing to have these people at least call it out and reference it and, and acknowledge it. But how do you get to the next point where something actually happens because of it? Um, they've just given way too much power to the far, far fringe left. They are letting them get away with anything they want. Anything they say is not challenged. Yeah. And that makes their job 10 times more difficult. I think Trump should not run for president. I really, because don't you, he's so polarizing Can't and people hate him. him so much. I don't run listen, for vice president. There, there's yeah, there's no, no chance. Way. Tom, there's I'll give no, you three seconds the, to retract for, that. For the good no of the country, three seconds. No way. support DeSantis. Oh, by the way, Can no, you no, it's possibly either, see it's, Trump. It's either being a what Pence pres- did for Trump. It's, no it's way. either a president or don't run again. He yes. ain't doing no VP stuff because he's already totally been out there as a front. That's about. that'll never but happen. But if you yeah. truly care about the country, which he does, no. I mean, don't you think there's almost no yeah. chance for him he, to get elected? He, he definitely. He does. brings out the worst out of so many people in this country. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.